वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द एंटीबॉडीज इट इज वेरी नेसेसरी टू नो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी प्रोडक्शन टेक्निक एंटीबॉडी एंड सेकंड इज द एंटीजन antibody are the immunological or immunoglobulin that are produced in body against immunogen immunogen and the antigen these are different things immunogen is the antigen that generate immune response and antigen can be anything that is non self to our body it is not necessary that it will generate our immune response clear in the monoclonal antibody technique we take the advantage of the unhealthy cells there is a lot of difference between unhealthy and healthy cells of our body for example if we discuss the b cells b cells differentiate into the plasma b cells and they secrete antibodies in the normal condition the plasma b cells and in the unhealthy condition plasma b cells they have the different properties in the normal condition plasma cell can generate many varieties of igg that is amino globulin type g what is the abnormal condition that is a myeloma or the myeloma cell what is myeloma cell it is defected plasma cell defected or it is cancerous it has the different property that it produce only one type igg and the both cells healthy as well as unhealthy cell have different growth rate in lab condition in different medium or in same medium here we fuse both type of cell that is myeloma cell plus plasma b cells with the fusion here we use poly ethylene glycol it produces a hybrid cell that is hybridoma cell this hybridoma cell have the properties of both type of cell that is myeloma cells as well as the plasma cells let's see b lymphocyte 
and myeloma cell they have different property in different medium here in the salvage pathway this pathway is the lab technique here we grow the nucleotide or nucleic acid from the nucleotide polymers the medium used it is the HGPRT and HAT medium what is this the V lymphocyte are positively HGPRT and HAT and myeloma cell are negatively HGPRT and HAT culture in the metabolic processes here is a poison that is produced that is amino pectrin the amino pectrin inhibit the growth in de novo synthesis so the b lymphocyte have the property to produce different type of igg and also they can grow in this medium these cell have to generate one type of igg but they cannot grow in this condition but when we hybrid them that is hybridoma they have both property it can grow in hgprt hat and it will produce only one type of IgG. This is the fact behind the monoclonal antibody technique. Now here is the meaning of HGPRT. It is hypogenthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. It is an enzyme that help the cell to survive in the medium containing amino pectrin. As I have told earlier, it is a poison that inhibit the growth of cells in the culture medium and hat is the hypogenthine aminopectrin thymide it contain the aminopectrin so the myeloma cell fail to survive in condition of HGPRT and HAT what V lymphocyte can grow in HGPRT and HAT but when we fuse but the hybridoma cell can survive in this condition and it will produce only one type of IgG this cell line will be purified and will be selected and will be multiplicated. Hence we can produce desired amount of monoclonal antibodies. Have a look on this diagram. This is experimental production of monoclonal antibodies. Here the mouse is incubated with an antigen. The antigen will evoke the immune system. Spleen cell isolated when antibody titer maximum. The spleen cell are isolated here. Here are the myeloma cell growth in the in vitro condition. The myeloma cell are failed to survive in HGPRT condition, so they will survive in negative condition. But the lymphocyte of spleen can survive in HGPRT plus medium. They are fused in at HAT medium. The HAT medium will produce the hybridoma type of the cell. The unfused cell 
will die here spleen cell die in vitro why they will die because they can survive cannot survive in a hybrid type of condition spleen myeloma hybrid cells survive they will survive 10 to 14 day clone constantly tested and useless clone are eliminated here the testing and quality control is done useful clone expanded and frozen down to prevent the contamination here the useful clone are collected preserved in the low temperature condition useful clone expanded in vitro in mice to produce monoclonal antibody here the hybridoma will be here re-injected here and it will produce the one type of antibody specific b cell and these are myeloma cell and hydroxy sakina amide bitin bitin aid myeloma specific b cell antigen avadin conjugate and this is the conjugate and this conjugate is carrying one type of antibody specific b cell antigen avid bitin myeloma cell conjugate here is the actual the production of the hybridoma cell i hope friend it is clear to you next is the advantages of monoclonal antibodies first it is important immunological tool it is useful in cell imaging diagnosis of unhealthy and healthy cells because the unhealthy cell head and healthy cell have different production rate of aminoglobins also it help in production of amino toxins what are the amino toxins here we fix the toxin taken from an micro and it is conjugated with the monoclonal antibody here is the resin and slezala toxin diphtheria toxin these are conjugated here and here it is injected in the patient you can see in the endocytic pathway it is released it cannot be digested by lysosome it is uh, released here and it is inactivating the transcription and translation so the transcription and translation inhibition caused by the amino toxin will inhibit the growth of the micro and it will be useful as a booster for the immunity to the patient i hope friend you will have purely understood the meaning of monoclonal antibodies their production and the techniques if you like my video share and like it so that i can provide you more and more helpful concept understanding related to the science thank you very much have a wonderful day